Your Baby is brought to you in part by Intermountain Healthcare and the Utah Department of Health. Well, welcome back. Time to Baby Your Baby. I'm here with Stephanie Browning McVicker, Dr. Stephanie Browning McVicker from the Utah Department of Health. And today we're talking about hearing screenings for newborns. And uh, so right when they're born, you can actually screen for, for hearing problems. That, how, how do you do that? Well, they can't raise their hand when they hear the beep. Right. So we actually take measurements. We put a probe inside the infant's ear and we deliver sounds, and then we actually get a recording on whether or not their inner ear is working correctly. So it only takes a few minutes, and it's painless, um, it's quick and easy, and we have a good indication on how their hearing is. Is it much of a problem? Do you find problems very often? Well, actually, yes. It's a pretty high incidence. So we have well, about one in every 500 births in Utah will have hearing loss present at birth, and that number quadruples by school age. Okay. Um, why is it important? Well, I guess it would be very important to know early as possible so, you know, when they're growing up and getting ready to go to preschool and things like that, you know what to expect. Absolutely. And the critical period for language learning is birth through three years of age, so it's really important that they don't miss any communication during that time. Uh-huh. Now, uh, so what's your goal? Well, I, we talked a little bit about this, but what is the risks? And uh, there's a big long name here. What's that called? Yes. The risks of CMV. CMV, what is CMV? or cytomegalovirus, right? So Say that again. Cytomegalovirus. Okay. And and what is that? And it is a very common virus. It's a member of the herpes family, but most people don't know about it because mm. if you're healthy, no matter what age you are, you normally don't feel sick with it. However, if a pregnant woman has CMV, um, it could infect the baby in utero and the baby could be born or develop significant developmental disabilities. And that's mm -hmm. one of the things that we will test for if the baby does fail their newborn hearing screening. It has a very um, high propensity for causing hearing loss in children. Okay, so is this automatically done now or is there something that the parents request or how do you do that? It is automatically done now. Okay. We do have a state mandate since 2013 um, for a baby to be tested for cytomegalovirus if they fail their newborn hearing screenings. And the trick is it needs to be done before they're 21 days of age to be accurate for the detection of a congenital infection, which means yeah. they're infected. Okay, birth. well, very interesting, yes. and I uh, appreciate you shedding some light on that. Where can people go for more information? They can go to health.utah.gov forward slash EHDI or forward slash CMV. Okay, something like that anyway. <laughs> Just go to the Utah Department of Health, and exactly. you can track it down. Dr. McVicker, thank you very much. Thank you for having very, me. Very interesting. Okay, over to you.